This is a story of saving thousands of lives and combating climate change by improving brick manufacturing, one of the world's most polluted industries. Bangladesh is a country in South Asia located in the delta of the Potta and Jomuna rivers in the northeastern part of the Indian subcontinent. This fertile delta is formed and replenished by clay and silt carried by these great rivers as they travel from the Himalayas to the ocean. Bangladesh is the eighth most populous country in the world with an estimated 172 million people and is the most densely populated country other than small city states. Bangladesh is rapidly transitioning from a rural-based agricultural economy to a modern urban economy. This transition has been driven by strong economic growth of 6% per year over the last two decades. In Bangladesh, the urban population has nearly doubled between 2000 and 2020. By 2050, more than half of its population is expected to live in urban areas. The growing urban economy of Bangladesh requires buildings. Bricks are a crucial building material used in most local construction projects. The clay of the Delta region is an excellent raw material for making bricks and since historical times bricks have played a central role in constructions in Bangladesh. Brick manufacturing has been expanding rapidly and is one of the fastest growing industrial sectors in Bangladesh. This industry contributes to 1% of the national GDP and direct employment for 1 million people. However, the approach used to make bricks in Bangladesh and across South Asia damages the environment and worsens human health. Traditional brick kilns burn coal to fire bricks, generating substantial air pollution. In Bangladesh, 7,000 brick kilns produce 27 billion bricks and also generate 11% of the country's particulate matter, 22% of black carbon and 17% of total annual carbon dioxide emissions. The emissions of brick kilns across all of South Asia cause immense damage to both public health and the environment. Over 50,000 people die every year because of the emissions from brick kilns. In addition, the emissions from brick kilns also generate global warming. The total global radiative forcing from brick kilns across South Asia is equivalent to the entire U.S. passenger car fleet. The air pollution from brick kilns is so small that it not only enters the respiratory tract but passes into the bloodstream, causing respiratory illnesses and also heart disease. As a result, air pollution has been linked to pneumonia, which is a leading cause of death for children in Bangladesh and also worldwide. And in Bangladesh, air pollution is associated with lower life expectancy by almost two years for people living here. Our past research has found that living near brick kilns is associated with higher prevalence of COPD symptoms and general respiratory symptoms for adults. So it's an urgent need to reduce this air pollution from brick kilns in Bangladesh to improve the population health. Newer, more efficient brick kiln technologies modeled on kilns used in high-income countries have been available for decades. These modern kilns improve energy efficiency, decrease emissions and produce higher quality bricks, but they are also prohibitively expensive. These modern kilns generate lower emissions, but uh, the bricks made in these kilns cost 40% uh, more compared to traditional kilns. And uh, traditional kilns require 90 to 95% less capital to establish than a modern kiln. Also, initial investment are recovered within two years and the annual return on investment is about 80%. So, people are more likely to continue their traditional work methods. The owners of traditional kilns have limited uh, technological and financial capacities. Technological solutions that take into account these constraints and deliver both environment and economic benefits 
stands a better chance of adoption by the traditional kiln owners. Working with these current manufacturers provides an opportunity to improve the operating practices of the dominant producers. Our interventions aim to improve the efficiency of these traditional kilns. In 2021, ICDDRB, in collaboration with Stanford University, Green Tech Knowledge Solutions and Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology piloted a set of low-cost interventions designed to improve combustion efficiency, reduce coal use and lower pollution in 20 kilns in the Joshua district of Bangladesh with co-support from the King Climate Action Initiative Stanford Impact Labs and Open Philanthropy. In 2022, based on lessons from the pilot, we modified the interventions and implemented a randomized controlled trial with over 300 traditional kilns in six districts in the southwest part of Bangladesh. The technical interventions are aimed at improving the combustion efficiency, improving the heat distribution within the kiln and reducing the heat losses from the surface of the kiln. These are achieved by adopting a less dense brick setting in the kiln to improve heat distribution, which ensures a uniform temperature and thus resulting in a greater number of properly baked bricks. Practicing more continuous fuel feeding to feed fuel in small quantities continuously to ensure that the fuel particles as they are fed in the kiln gets enough oxygen and time for complete combustion, reducing the heat loss from the kiln surface through better insulation by increasing the thickness of the ash layer on the roof of kiln and using a double wall having a cavity filled with ash to close the entry gates to the kiln. A analog a cook poor slum silot in June at Shatter Time Marahito. A digital road ashi cascame shop dictic shanty. Akun, aka time man. Ite amare costo, cook comas. A lode, aka dunaka time mari, bistis mitkari, our bistis mitkari respite. Amra, a number eight, Hosekina, for us from the dictify. Tate. Eighty percent body gas. That is, Maliko khushi, Amra khushi. Amra digital load diye khub shanti baatsi. Agar board same baare shomai lagto beshi, pyaay der theke dui ganta. Arakun es digital same baare se, amader shomai lagye paytalish minute theke ek ganta swarbo utcho. Agar je system ra silo yete dekha zito, je pikeri ra lam trambe zito. এখন লাম ট্রাম হয় না এখন আনলোড করতে শ্রমিকদের সুবিধা একটু পয়সাও তারা বেশি পায় অথচ কাজটাও তারা ভালোভাবে করতে পারতেছে आवर স্টাডি শোস দ্যাট ওয়ার্কিং উইথ জিগজ্যাগ কিনস টু ইমপ্রুভ देयर অপারেশন হ্যাজ দা পটেনশিয়াল টু রিডিউস ফুয়েল কনজাম্পশন এন্ড কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড ইমিশন ইন কম্পারিজন টু দা ট্র্যাডিশনাল ব্রিকলিন অপারেশন ensure total 85 to 95 percent of the total bricks are class one achieve significant reduction in air pollution our pilot and randomized controlled trial demonstrate that this approach to improving brick making is appealing to traditional kiln owners after training over 300 kilns on more efficient zigzag kiln operating practices, 65% of these kilns adopted these approaches. Kilns that adopted more efficient practices used 24% less fuel, reduced carbon dioxide and particulate matter emissions by 21% and increased their production of class 1 bricks by 19% while reducing wastage from inferior classes by 56%. I call Amla a jeta single jig jacket chilam single jig jacket amader jalani khorosh ta bechi hoto 18 theke 19 ton ek ek lakh ite porto ebong ekhane iter quality 60 65% amra first color ba picket patam ar double jig jacket amader shubidhar jaga ta hoyeche jekhane 13 theke 14 ton ba 13 ton er bhitore amra First class among picket quality, 80 to 95 percent number. First class among picket patchi. The interventions that we implemented in our randomized control trial changed a single zigzag into a double uh, stack zigzag, and we also altered fuel feeding. 
These two simple interventions markedly reduced coal consumption by 22% and similarly reduced carbon dioxide production and particulate matter production. So we would anticipate that this will both improve health and reduce environmental damage. These simple interventions are applicable across all of Bangladesh. They could substantially reduce coal consumption and air pollution. The trial also illustrates that we can engage with traditional kiln owners and successfully improve practices. Indeed, the success of this engagement can motivate further improvement in practices.